Welcome back, Trickster fans. I am Steve the Barman, and in today's video, we've got some very simple cocktail inspiration using Monin's mango syrup. Now, if you haven't got the mango syrup, but you've got a mango puree, yes, of course, these are gonna work. Uh, there's just different types of puree out there. Some are sugar-based, some will be 50% sugar, 50% kind of mango. Others will be sort of 80s to 90% mango and a tiny bit of sugar. If you're using those, just balance out the sugar a little bit. Base spirits, we've got a coconut and mango daiquiri. I've got a highball cooler uh, that needs naming the vanilla. Uh, so vanilla vodka in there. So we've got coconut rum, vanilla, and then I've got a mango and ginger uh, margarita tequila. Right, let's dive into the first cocktail. It's a very, very simple uh, coconut and mango daiquiri. So, so simple. Four ingredients. You, to be fair, you could even get away and do three ingredients, but I've got my mango syrup obviously there from Monim. Uh, my go-to coconut rum, please note this is a rum. It's not Malibu, which is a liqueur. It's 20, Malibu's what, 21% ABV. This is a full strength rum. So yes, Malibu will work, but you just need to kind of pep it up with a stronger rum. And then we've just got some lime juice, but I just kind of want that lovely kind of frothy. I love the frothy sort of thing. So I've got some uh, uh, ODK Stiller Bump Foamers. Uh, those three you can get for drink stuff. So shake and cocktail, the first ingredient we're going for is the um, mango syrup and adjust the sugar ratios for your own personal palate. But I'm just going 15 mil, half an ounce. Uh, that'll be perfect for me. And then I'm going for my coconut rum. And if you've never heard of this before, you might have heard of the parent company, Ray and Nephew. That's that's who makes uh, Coca Cola. So it's pretty pretty decent rum. Uh, I'm going for 60 mil double bubble coconut rum, coconut and mango. They were just made to go together. And then I'm just going for some lime juice, uh, and you can up the lime juice. I'm actually going for equal measures of lime juice to um, uh, to my sugar syrup, but it's up to you. Daiquiris are normally two one half. Um, so I'm going 15 mil here, and by two and a half, I mean two parts booze, one part citrus, half a part sweetener. But play about, adjust, it, adjust to your own personal palate. And then to give us that lovely white froth on top, I just love using these, these are really great. Uh, just going for eight drops of Stella Bump Foamers, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we need to dry shake for about five seconds. We take it from that to literally in five seconds. Look at that, and that won't alter the taste at all. And then we just need to uh, simply uh, chill the cocktail down. So plenty of ice, and then harder, fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. And then to serve up, I'm going for my little baby Diddy Nick and Nora glass. I love the glasses, that's how I drink my daiquiris. If you wanna go into a rocks glass over ice, again, be my guest. Uh, but I'm just gonna double strain. Look at that. Perfect ratios for a Nick and Nora. And then just to the garnish, uh, and that's kind of why I like using the froth. I've got um, the ODK, the, the uh, dehydrated. Little, uh, little lime just to sit on top. Coconut and mango <laughs> all day long. Perfect for me with a two one one two half half ratio if you like. When I have coconut daiquiris, I kind of like them being fun and a little bit sweeter. But if you want more lime juice, add more lime juice. That's just proper naughty. I love it. Cocktail two, and this will need naming up. I'll stick it in the um, in the teams for the drink stuff. All the drink stuff staff members, you can get involved in naming this up. Or if you guys at home, if you've got name suggestions, then dive into the comments below. Uh, highball serve, so we're going for Monin's mango syrup. I'm going for vanilla vodka, I love using JJ. It's proper banging in vanilla, proper vanilla forward. Absolute and all that will be fine, but it's not as vibrant as uh, JJ. Uh, Pampel, you should be getting used to me using Pampel now. Uh, it's kind of, think um, Campari, uh, but the next run down is Aperol. So Aperol is not as bitter as Campari. And then we've got Pampel, which is a grapefruit forward, not as bitter as Aperol. So it's kind of like two rungs below uh, Campari. I love the bittersweet thing. It's just delicious, gorgeous grapefruit notes. Uh, I've got some lime juice. We've got some Sprite, some day old Sprite and some just some pressed, 100% pressed pineapple juice. Don't get the concentrate stuff, use pressed, it tastes so much better. What can we get for drink stuff? We can get those two things for drink stuff. So another shaken cocktail, let's crack straight on. So first ingredient is the Monin, come on, uh, the Monin mango. So I'm going for 15 mil of the mango syrup, that'll be perfect. Then I'm going for my go-to vanilla vodka. We want 60 mil, double bubble. Double bubble, double trouble. There we go. 
And then for the old Pampel, we never need too much bitterness. You don't want to go like full shots because it'll be way too bitter. Uh, so I'm just going for 15 mil, and even that might be too bitter for some of you, but 15 mil will be perfect for me. And then just to tie in all those flavors that is coming, uh, we've got some lime juice, and I'm going for 15 mil, half an ounce of lime juice. And then I'm going for 30 mil, one ounce of 100% pressed pineapple juice. We're not shaking the Sprite because we'll get wet because it's sort of still fizzy. It's a day old, but obviously fresh Sprite would be proper fizzy. So we don't, we don't, we don't shake that down, do we? Um, but plenty of ice in there. Hard fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. And then just to finish off the cocktail, so uh, I'm going for 60 mil, a double bubble of Sprite. Oh, still got a bit of fizz. Ooh. Not much, but there we go. 60 mil. Then I'm gonna serve it up in one of my favorite highball glasses. That's the bamboo, bamboo cooler. We like that. So I'm gonna stick about four cubes of ice. That'll do for the time being. I'm just gonna single strain. You can't do a shake and dump and use that ice, uh, but I'm just gonna strain that with fresh ice. Perfect, look at that. And then just to garnish, I've got a couple here out of the freezer, because I store them in the freezer. Uh, pineapple leaves, pineapple fronds, whatever you want to call them. And then just to finish it all off, uh, an ODK dehydrated pineapple. I've got some left that needs to get some more, but that'll be, that'll be lovely just sitting on top of there. Such a fun, easy sipper. The vanilla comes forward. I'm just getting little subtle hints of the grapefruit, sort of Aperol, the grapefruit bitterness coming through there. But honestly, that's just delicious. And then your third and final cocktail, we're kind of going for like a mango and ginger uh, margarita. This is delicious. I've had this quite a few times. Mango and chili is like my favorite, but then swap the chili out for ginger and you've got something a little bit tamer. But whoo, uh, so we've got uh, Monin's mango syrup, my go-to Reposado tequila. I think Reposado works better than Blanco in this cocktail, but it's up to you, be my guest. I've got my go-to orange liqueur, Fortunella. Uh, think Grand Marnier, think Orange Curacao. You can even use Triple Sec or Cointreau. It, it, um, all will be brilliant swaps. This is now my go-to ginger liqueur, uh, Giffard, uh, Ginger of the Indies. I was a huge fan of King's Ginger, but they've reformulated. It's now a lemon and ginger kind of uh, forward as opposed to out and out ginger. So that's my go-to ginger liqueur. Uh, and then some um, lime juice from ODK. Obviously, drink stuff, sell those too. So shaking cocktail again. Uh, we'll go for the mango syrup first off. Uh, I think I always turn up, put that on too tight. Right, uh, 15 mil of mango syrup, half an ounce. I think that'll be perfect. Then I'm going for my tequila, Cascabel. I, just, I really love it. I'm not a, not a huge tequila snob, but I really do like that. It is much better than other brands, cheaper brands that you get out there, but it's still decent price, this. Uh, so we're going for 45 mil, one and a half ounces of Reposado tequila. Then I'm going for my orange liqueur. I'm just going for 15 mil, half an ounce of that. And those orange notes are absolutely gorgeous. Ho -ho. Then I'm going for my ginger. Orange and ginger is lovely as well. It's a good combo. Uh, so we're going for 15 mil, half an ounce of ginger liqueur. And then the final ingredient is uh, some lime juice. We're going for 30 mil, uh, one ounce of lime juice. Lovely. So obviously we're gonna chill that down now. So plenty of ice in your cocktail shaker. Don't skimp. And then hard and fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. And then to serve it up, I've been I've been into the Drink Stuff showroom. I have I don't actually own one, and I've stolen uh, a margarita glass, a sombrero glass. So I am going to double strain if I can find my strainer. I always leave it in the wash up area. That's where it is. So double strain. There we go, might be a bit, oh, it's all right, what's it look like? I was gonna say it might be a bit low, but that'll be all right, that'll be all right. And then just the garnish, uh, because I love them, you know, you could go, I've even got fresh lime here, to be fair, I've got fresh lime, uh, but I just, I just love showing these off, because I love using them. Dehydrated lime on top. Mm. That is a classy margarita. Tequila forward. Subtle mango, mango and ginger. I don't know what it is with mango and spices, but they kind of work. Ginger, chili, just delicious. Very citrus, margaritas are they kind of citrus forward. That is summer all over, I love that. So there you have three easy as you like mango cocktails. Let me know which one's your favorite. If you want to dive into more cocktail inspiration, dive into that video right there. 
As always, a big thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe button.